Hey guys, it's Christina Marie, and today I'm going to talk about the best cabins or the best staterooms on Holland America cruise ships and the worst cabins or staterooms to stay in. Um, so basically all of the Holland America rooms are nice, but there are some rooms that you definitely want to avoid. So I'll go through the worst rooms to stay on, in um, first. So first thing to do is avoid deck eight under the adult pool specifically. So the adult pool is on deck number nine on Holland America cruise ships. And if you are on deck eight under the adult pool, you will not be able to sleep at night because every morning and every evening they pull all of the deck chairs inside and then outside. So really, really early in the morning, you'll hear <laughs> scraping noises as they set up the lawn chairs for the day. So avoid deck eight at all costs underneath the adult pool. It is horrible. Um, same thing with being underneath the Lido pool. If possible, it's not as bad, but try to avoid staying underneath the Lido pool. It can get loud as well. Okay, the second place to avoid is the front of the ship on any level, um, but it is bad. The front of the ship is usually the most rocky. Um, so if possible, avoid the very, very front of the ship. Holland America cruise ships have really good stabilizers nowadays, so it may not be bad, but depending on where you're sailing and the waters at the time, it can be miserable the first night usually on Holland America cruise ships. So avoid the very, very front of the ship. That's the worst. Okay. Next is be careful with deck one. So deck one is lowest on this ship. So it does tend to be the least rocky, but there's a couple of drawbacks about staying on deck one. First off, you're at the bottom of the ship. So to go up to like the Lido deck on floor nine, that's a lot of um, elevator stops or stairs. So you're kind of far away from the Lido deck. You're close to deck two and three, which is where most of the events happen. But in my opinion, being that far away from the Lido pool and the Lido buffet is kind of a pain. Also, if you're on deck one, that is the deck that a lot of people will walk through as they are getting to getting ready to get on and off the ship at each port. Usually you have to walk through deck one and then walk down the stairs or just walk through deck one. Um, so in summary, if you're on deck one, be prepared to have lots of people walking outside your room on port days. Not a huge deal, but um, kind of a pain. Okay, um, also deck one, avoid the rooms underneath the BB King Lounge and the Rock and Roll Band. So the BB King Band and the Rock and Roll Band will play up until like 11 p.m. at night, 12 p.m. at night sometimes. So avoid deck one underneath those Places. It will be horrible. You will hear BB King and the rock and roll band. So unless you stay up until like midnight every night, um, do not be on deck one underneath BB King or rock and roll. So I guess in summary, um, be cautious about being on deck number one. Um, deck number two, there's nobody staying on that deck. And deck number three, nobody staying on that deck. So don't have to talk about those decks. Okay, then there's decks number four, five, six, and seven. All of those decks are good decks to stay on in a Holland America cruise ship. It really just depends on the, the class of your room. So some of the rooms are a little bit bigger than others, depending if you wanna pay extra. So I would say basically decks four, five, or six, or sub, four, five, six, or seven are all good, safe decks. Ideally, you kind of want to stay in the center of this ship. That's the most stable, but doesn't really matter on Holland America cruise ships. Um, just avoid the very, very front and you'll be okay. But here's another tip. I've noticed um, this time we're on deck number six in a balcony room 
and our room is by the elevator or like a hallway. So it's not loud, but I've noticed that the room stewards tend to put their cart right outside the hallway, um, outside our room. So in the morning when people are walking by our room to get to the elevator, our room stewards, as they should say like, good morning, how are you? Good evening. So you sometimes hear that. Um, so if possible, I would avoid being in a stateroom on Holland America near the hallways or near the elevators. Also, the night before you reach port on going back home, um, that's where they like drag all of the ele the luggage to the elevators. So avoid having a stateroom on Holland America near the hallways and the elevators. Okay, then we have to cover decks 10 and 11. I've honestly never stayed up there. Um, those are like the uh, more expensive suites. So I suppose they're really nice. They are higher up. So you'd think that they would be a little bit rockier, um, but I've never heard anybody complain. So if you're staying in a fancy stateroom on 10 or 11, um, those are obviously nice. They're just a lot more expensive. Okay, so we went through the staterooms to avoid on Holland America ships. Basically, you don't wanna be in the very front of the ship. You don't wanna be on deck one. Be careful about being on deck eight underneath the pools and be really careful about being on deck one underneath BB King or the rock and roll band. And then any of the decks, be careful about being by an elevator or a hallway, those can be loud. Okay, now let's talk about the best rooms on Holland America. Basically all the rooms are good, but when you book, um, it's set up by class of course, but some of the rooms are a little bit bigger than others. So look at the pictures of the map and I'll include a link below to where you can see the deck plans on Holland America ships. Um, you can kind of tell which rooms are a little bit bigger or it should say online when you book or your travel agent should help you out on how many square feet the room is. I will say having sailed with Holland America quite a lot, um, in my opinion, it's definitely worth it to get a room with a balcony. It's just really nice having I'm sitting right by the balcony right now. Really nice being able to open up your door, get fresh air, really nice sitting on your patio. It's nice and bright in your stateroom if you have a balcony. So I would say definitely pay extra for the balcony. The inside rooms are, they're just an inside room. It's not very pleasant in my opinion, even though you're probably out and about. Um, on Holland America cruise ships, we actually relax in, sorry, my mom's watching TV over there. Um, in Holland America cruise ships, we usually relax in our room quite a bit. So I think it is nice if you pay extra for the balcony. Um, here's another tip. Some of the balconies have an obstructed view. I think it's deck. I honestly don't know which deck it is. It might be deck four that you have an obstructed view with the life boats or sometimes there's poles. So um, paying for a balcony and then having a obstructed view is a big bummer. So be careful not to book a balcony with an obstructed view. Um, our balcony standard, which is nice, but if you can get a corner room, the balconies are way, way bigger. So those are some of the best rooms on Holland America is a corner room with the corner balcony. They're amazing and huge. Um, what else? If you're handicapped, you're in luck. Those state rooms are like twice the size of a normal state room. So lucky you, if you're handicapped, those rooms are like the best on Holland America ships. When my mom and I were sailing during COVID, they had a section of Holland America closed off. So they put us in a handicapped room because nobody was using it and it was huge and I got spoiled. So um, those rooms are definitely probably the best and they don't cost extra if you're handicapped. Um, so that's it, that's it. Um, if you have any questions about booking a room on Holland America cruise ships 
or cruising with Holland America, please leave a comment below. I've sailed a lot with them, even though I'm not their typical target market. I'm not over the age of 60, but I travel Holland America a lot with my mom and I would love to help you out. If you thought this video was helpful, please, please, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks guys.